Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom and this afternoon I want to talk about the ginger that we harvested about three or four days ago and uh, in that uh, harvest we got just on three kilos of cleaned ginger. So what I did that, that night was I uh, peeled it all and put the peelings in the bag in the freezer to make our lemongrass tea and uh, with all the rest I just thinly sliced it all and uh, to, to use during the year for, for whatever I want to use it for. Um, now based on what we use for the last 12 months, uh, we've got a, the three kilos is a bit of a surplus of our requirements. So I got on the internet to find some other ideas of what I could uh, use this ginger for. And, I, and the first thing I found, well the first thing I looked up was uh, pickled ginger. And I looked at quite a few uh, recipes and um, a couple of videos and I found this real simple recipe and it turned out fantastic. So all you do is uh, thinly slice the ginger. Um, this is a bit thicker than what they, what they say. They, show, they say it should almost be paper thin to make the pickled ginger. But anyway, it's a bit thicker. Um, now I used about one and a half cups of uh, sliced ginger and so what, what you do is put about a heat uh, teaspoon of salt over it all and, and then cover it with lemon juice. So that, that's, that's all there is to it. You just cover it, put it, you know, one and a half cups of sliced ginger, uh, a heat teaspoon of salt and uh, cover it with lemon juice and they say in one hour it's ready to serve. And as it turned out, it was. Uh, it's turned out a beautiful pink colour, which is uh, reminiscent of the uh, pickled ginger that we had when we was in Japan. And that's one of my lasting memories of our of the food we had in Japan was the beautiful uh, pickled ginger, and it tastes just like that. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so that covers that. Now the uh, next thing I found to do with this ginger was to make some. Uh, candied ginger and at the same time you're making ginger syrup. So what you do is you, um, you thinly slice about, oh, about one eighth of an inch thick, um, uh, which is uh, three millimetres thick, the, the ginger, about one cup and, and to that you, add, you have uh, three cups of water and three cups of sugar. So the company is it's, that's as that's as, uh, it's as simple as that. So what you do is you dissolve the water and the sugar, uh, bring it to the boil, add the ginger, and then boil it for three quarters of an hour. Now after that, you strain the ginger and put the syrup back on the stove uh, to boil for another maybe half an hour, or another three quarters of an hour to get that syrup to the consistency that you that you, you uh, want for yourself. So in this recipe they say to get it halfway between maple syrup and honey. So, uh, so I, I did that. Now with the uh, ginger that you've strained, you just let it drain for about 30 minutes and then you coat it with sugar. So what we did was we uh, mixed up some caster sugar and some raw sugar together and we just rolled it around in that and uh, this is the result. So we've got our uh, container of our candied uh, ginger in there. So just to sort of show you. And it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, With the pickled ginger, did you add some lemon juice to that? that yeah, that's what we do. Coat it yeah, in lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah, yeah. you just coat it in lemon juice. So, uh, and that's all. So, um, now the thing I did uh, different to the recipe of the candy ginger was I used raw sugar instead of normal sugar which gave the syrup a nice rich colour and, um, and I couldn't resist putting the juice of one good sized lemon in there so I used, this is where the uh, lemon comes in so we used the uh, juice of one good sized lemon in that three cups of water and uh, so what, what, we, what I've done is I've made some uh, banana fritters that I'm going to uh, 
just show you the consistency of the uh, syrup. You just use it anywhere you'd use uh, maple syrup, I guess. And um, so the, the syrup, uh, there's something else I forgot to mention. Oh, no, we no, rolled it in the sugar. mentioned all the sugar yeah. and the lemon. And yeah, the raw sugar. So we mentioned all that. Um, so this syrup, you can use use this syrup for anything that you like. You know, for ice cream, you um, put on ice cream, waffles, um, desserts, uh, any any recipe that requires the flavour of ginger and, and also the, the sugar, use it in that. You can put it in cakes and you limit it to your own imagination really uh, what you can use it for. Now we, we made some uh, lemongrass tea, we've got that in the fridge, and uh, we added a teaspoon of this uh, ginger syrup to this lemongrass tea, and that just took it to, the, to another dimension. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, in my introduction that this is a, a video is, is made, made by request, so I'm pleased to announce to uh, mention that, a, a friend in Ireland. Now, um, now, uh, I'm just thrilled to be able to make these articles from something I grew in, out of my garden. I'm absolutely amazed that you can make something that tastes so delicious uh, out of my homegrown ginger. And I'll be certainly putting some more in next year, so I can't wait to do that. So uh, this year I only had one really good uh, plant. And the rest were, um, you know, sort of lagging behind a bit. So uh, next year I'm going to try and get them all good, get the whole lot good. Okay, well uh, I think we've just about covered it all, and uh, we'll catch you next time. All the best. Bye.